A rain-sodden day in Hampshire as a Chinook prepares to fly. It's a far cry from the heat of last summer when the force here on national standby rushed to Whaley Bridge to fly in aggregate to stop the Todbrook Reservoir Dam from failing. A long way too from the spectacle of the Chinook display team, a highlight of the flying year for many. But it's the day-to-day -day routine flying that enables the spectacular and essential to happen. And that's why it was vital the Chinook force kept flying through this pandemic. We still have to meet both our operational commitments, so we have to train for our operational commitments uh, overseas uh, and in the UK. In addition to help against COVID-19, extra duties were added through Operation Rescript. Basically we had two task lines, uh, one was a 24-7 medevac capability uh, that we stood up uh, in, in April uh, to go and support the, the wider NHS community because all, all this was in support of the, of the NHS. Um, the second task was a, um, a tasking line which supported both the military and the civilian agencies for personnel moves, command liaison tasks and anything that they needed, um, a helicopter to move around the UK. And for that vital work, a full engineering capability has to function. Uh, so every time they fly, uh, they effectively come down unserviceable. So after flying, they require an after-flight servicing and uh, scheduled maintenance. Uh, we've got calendar codes and hourly codes. So as soon as the aircraft's off the ground, it starts accumulating flying hours. Um, when it comes down, those flying hours are set at points, so we'd have 25 hour codes, we'd have 50 hour codes, 100 hour codes, along with other maintenance that's in different time scales, and we are just carry out those codes which need to be cleared in order for it to fly. It's really quite quiet in the hangar here, just the personnel, the vital personnel that are needed to keep these Chinooks flying are here working at the moment to minimise the risk, but keep these helicopters in the air because of the vital capability they can deliver. When this all first hit, it was all doom and gloom. There was uncertainty on numbers that the people that were effectively going to be hit by it. So to be part of the team that could help prevent and assist with uh, covering the COVID-19 cover, it was, quite, it was quite a good moment to be able to assist and help and I guess effectively not be on par with the NHS staff, but at least assist them to carry out their jobs. Another Chinook is ready for flight. A training mission this time, eight hours flying, crewed by personnel from 27 Squadron. They're being briefed about the mission, among them is Sergeant Gav Anderson, who runs the Chinook display team. A popular attraction at air shows up and down the country, the exquisite flying skills can be shown off, the airframe's capabilities highlighted. They have been due to wow the crowds at the National Armed Forces Day event in Scarborough. Hopefully they'll be there this time next year. One thing that's shown from the season this year being cancelled is the amount of people that have expressed their disappointment and how much they're missing seeing it, and it's not just the air show supporters and the people who watch us. It's the whole, the mantra that it brings of meeting friends, spending a day at the beach whilst this is all going on, uh, all the stalls and the background thing. Um, so yeah, I think, I think people really have missed it this year and, and next year, you know, people will just value it that little bit more. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, there's a Chinook force on standby to help from either 18 or 27 squadrons. They're the national standby. COVID-19 or not, they have to maintain that capability for any eventuality. Whaley Bridge proved that. And as another Chinook comes to the hover at RAF Odium, everyone here is proud that they've kept flying, helped the nation and continued to stand by for whatever comes next. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.